Okay, in our video series of ECG interpretation made easy, in this video we are going to talk about ventricular rhythm, polymorphic ventricular tachycardia and torsade T points. Now, the electrical activity of the heart is controlled by SA node. SA node produces electrical currents that spread throughout the atria and causes contraction of the atria. These electrical signals travel through the internodal pathways to the AV node and from AV node these travel to the bundle branches and Purkinje fiber and travel to the ventricles resulting in contraction of the ventricles. Now, if SA node fails to produce these electrical currents, AV node takes control of the pacemaker activity of the heart. And if AV node fails, Purkinje fibers start producing electrical activity resulting in contraction of the heart muscles. Now, what if the Purkinje fiber also fails? That results in the ventricles to generate the electrical activity. The ventricles itself start depolarizing, producing electrical activity and result in depolarization. That is called as a ventricular rhythm. Now, in some cases, damage to the myocardial tissue, myocardial ischemia can result in ectopic foci in the heart that can produce electrical current and those electrical current depolarize the ventricles. Now, these ectopic foci will produce electrical currents and they will result in ventricular tachycardia, result in a rapid rate of heart and these QRS complexes are wide, they will result in ventricular tachycardia. Now, if one focus is predominantly producing electrical currents, there are many foci that are producing this electrical rhythm, but if one of the focus is dominant over the others, it will produce monomorphic ventricular tachycardia, where the shape of the QRS complex will be same, since the origin is from one ectopic focus. Since the one ectopic focus is dominant over the others, it will produce a monomorphic, the same shape of QRS complexes in the ECG. Now, there are many ectopic foci present in the ventricle that are producing and generating these abnormal rhythms. If one gets dominant, it produces a monomorphic ventricular tachycardia. But if all of them are equally dominant over each other, it will produce a ventricular tachycardia that is called as a polymorphic ventricular tachycardia, which is actually a sum of all these different ectopic foci producing electrical currents. So, if multiple foci are producing electrical currents at the same time, those electrical currents join to form a tachycardia that is called as a polymorphic tachycardia where there are different shapes of the ventricular rhythms that is called as a polymorphic ventricular tachycardia and this is how it looks like. Torsard's D points is a type of polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. A most famous type of polymorphic ventricular tachycardia is Torsard's. Polymorphic ventricular tachycardia is basically an irregular grouping of ventricular tachycardia that results in torsade D points. Torsade D points is a type of polymorphic ventricular tachycardia where multiple foci in the ventricles are producing these electrical currents and these multiple foci join together to form a polymorphic ventricular tachycardia with different morphology. Now, torsade D points is a French word that means twisting of the points. Now, if you focus in these type of arrhythmias, what you will see is that at one side there will be pointing of the QRS complexes, there will be points and on the other side you will see that the QRS complexes will be round. So this uh, over here in this part you can see that the pointing is present in the downward direction. So the points are downward over here and then those same points are upward in this part. Over here these are the points and over here these are the round parts. So the points have now pointed upward. So that is called as a twisting around the points. That is torsades de points. Now if you look at this ECG, in this ECG the patient was already not having a normal rhythm but then the patient developed a polymorphic ventricular tachycardia and look over here. This is the polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. It is the twisting around the points. These are the points. Look at the points. And these are the round waves. These are the points, look at the points, and these are the round parts. So this is called as twisting of the points, torsades the points, which is a polymorphic ventricular tachycardia, multiple foci beating at the same time, and those foci jumble up to form this type of polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. Now the causes of torsades the points includes antiarrhythmic drugs, antimicrobial drugs, antipsychotic drugs. So antiarrhythmic drugs include quinidine, procainamide, disoparamide, Antimicrobial drugs include macrolide, erythromycin, clarithromycin. Antipsychotics include 
phenothiazines, neuroleptics, thi thioridazone, chlorpromazine, haloperidol. So these are the drugs that can cause torsor D points. Now let's look at some ECGs. Now if you look at this ECG, this is an ECG showing torsor D point twisting around the points. These are the pointed ends and these are the round end that is the twisting around the points. Now if you calculate the heart rate, the atrial rate, we cannot calculate the atrial rate because you cannot see the P waves. We can calculate the ventricular rate but in this ventricular rate can be calculated by 6 second method. In 6 second method I have already talked about how to calculate heart rate by 6 second method in detail in my video on rhythm determination. In 6 second method what you do is that you actually count 30 large boxes and within those 30 large boxes you count the number of QRS complexes present and then you multiply the number of QRS complexes present in those 30 boxes with 10. So that is the heart rate. Now since we have short strips so we will take 15 large boxes and then we'll multiply the 15 large boxes by 2. So that will give us the number of QRS complexes present in 30 large boxes. Now, if uh, this is, uh, I have already marked 15 large boxes. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. In these 15 large boxes, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, almost 13. 13 QRS complexes within these 15 large boxes and in 30 then we will have 26 the double of 13 26 qrs complexes in 30 large boxes now we'll have to multiply the answer by 10 26 multiplied by 10 is 260 beat per minute so the ventricular rate is 260 beat per minute regularity is irregular the p waves are absent pr interval there is no p wave there is no pr interval the QRS complex, uh, determining the size of QRS complex in uh, torsards is very difficult. We don't know where the QRS complex is starting, where it is ending. So we can just simply say that the QRS complex is wide. The interpretation is that this ECG is of torsards. Now if you look at this ECG, in this ECG these are the pointed ends and these are the rounded ends. Over here these are the pointed ends, these are the rounded ends. So this is the twisting of the points, torsards. Now if you calculate the heart rate, the atrial rate we are unable to determine, you calculate the ventricular rate by same 6 second method in which you calculate the number of QRS complexes in 30 large boxes and you multiply it by 10. I have already calculated it, the rate is 180 beats per minute. The regularity is irregular, P waves are absent, PR interval, there is no PR interval, we have no P waves. QRS complex is wide, the interpretation is torsards. This is another ECG. These are the pointed ends, these are the round ends. So this is a ECG of torsards. The atrial rate we are unable to determine, we have no P waves. Ventricular rate is 250 beats per minute, counted by the 6 second method. The P waves are absent, PR interval is none. QRS complex is wide. The interpretation is torsards D points. Now coming to the management of torsards D points, remember the management of torsards D points is very simple. If the patient is unstable, patient is developing hypotension and the patient is losing pulses, you have to shock the patient. It is that ventricular tachycardia and remember ventricular tachycardias are shockable rhythms. So you shock the patient. If the patient is stable, if the patient is not having hypotension or if the patient is not losing pulses, in such case, you can give IV magnesium. Main treatment, remember, if someone asks you the treatment of torsards, that is IV magnesium. Magnesium sulfate is given 8 millimole over 15 minutes, then 72 millimole over 24 hours. You avoid amidorone, procainamide, sutalol in these because as these drugs can cause torsards, even they can worsen torsards. You treat the underlying cause, you correct the electrolytes, you stop the causative drugs and you treat the hypothyroidism. So this is the management of torsards. Remember IV magnesium sulfate as the main treatment of torsards. Before going into the summary, if you liked my video, please click on the subscribe button. In this video, we talked about what is ventricular rhythm, what is monomorphic ventricular tachycardia and how multiple uh, foci, if they combine together, they form a polymorphic ventricular tachycardia. 
what is TORS RSD points and how does it present and the management of TORS RSD points. If you liked my video, please click on the subscribe button and check out my other videos on ECG interpretation lectures. The link of those videos are given in the description below. Thank you very much.